Hi everybody, welcome to week six. We're going to take a little bit of a diversion this week and what we're going to do is we're going to design interview questions. So bear with me here through this presentation and I will explain everything we're going to do this week being week six. Well first of all, let's talk about where we're at right now in the course. You recall we talked about and discussed mandates. Those are the must-dos of an organization. Then following that we discussed the idea of stakeholders. The people or the groups of people or the other organizations that have a claim on your organization. And we looked at that through the lens of the relative power and interest that these groups of people or these individual people have on the organization. And then we looked at the uh, internal and external environment, how those environments affect the organization, and we did that through this device known as the SWAT or SWAC exercise. And then just this last week, we looked at strategic issues. Now next week, um, in week seven, what I'm going to have you do is design a mission statement for a local nonprofit. So I think you can already see that the exercises we're doing relate directly to the written assignments I'm giving you and to your term project. So for example, several of you are doing a SWOT exercise for your organization. And so that directly relates to everything we've been doing. And all, some of you are identifying strategic issues for an organization. Again, directly relates um, to the exercises we've been doing. So this week is a practical diversion and what we're going to do right now this week is use the knowledge we have to date and we're going to use that knowledge to design interview questions. And I take this diversion purposefully because this assignment um, regarding interview questions is going to be due to me on October 10th. So I want to spend this week giving you the opportunity to help each other with your interview questions. So here's my plan for week six and right here you see I'm introducing a new topic. There's a consultant that I discovered her name is Jen Lockman and she has a YouTube channel and Jen Lockman has some really very useful uh, videos dealing with strategic planning for a nonprofit. Each video is really short. I, I think the longest one is maybe six minutes long. So this week what I want you to do is I want you to view these videos. I've provided them to you on, um, on the Blackboard site, but you can also go directly to Jen Lockman's YouTube channel and you can view them there. And during the videos she refers to worksheets and I've, I've downloaded those worksheets to um, the Blackboard site as well. We won't necessarily be using those worksheets, but they are useful. Now, um, this week I want you to pay close attention to videos 3 and 4. Next week we're going to come back to 1 and 2. And you should look at them this week for context though. And so I want you to compare these sources um, with what you've already learned from our Bryson and Alston text because Jen Lockman has a slightly different take and and I think I said you know there's really really more than one way to do strategic planning um, so Jen Lockman has a different take than Bryson has and it's interesting okay the other thing that I'm asking you to do this week is go to the assignments tab on the blackboard site refer to assignment A3 and that's going to be your term project interview plan. I have attached to the assignments tab several sources that I want you to refer to. There's a couple documents from Purdue Owl. One is a document on what primary sources are. Um, the other is a, a PowerPoint presentation from the Purdue Owl on conducting interviews. And then also on the assignments tab I uh, also attached a couple kind of interesting YouTube videos 
on interviewing technique, which I think you'll enjoy, but they're also very helpful uh, when you do go to conduct your interview. So the bottom line to all this, all this, these videos I'm having you look at this week, is that your discussion board assignment for this week is to provide all of us with your interview questions. So, you know, in order to do that, <clears throat> here's the approach I want you to take. It's really helpful as you develop your interview to focus it on your term paper project. In other words, um, if you've said you're going to do a SWOC analysis on the organization, you're going to want to talk about strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and challenges of that organization. And that's going to be folded into your interview. Um, but you're also going to have to ask some what I call identification questions. I mean, you're going to want to get background on the organization itself before you just say, hey, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What are your opportunities? What are your challenges? And so you're going to want to find out deeper information about the organization. And I believe that everything we've covered up to this point is, is in your mind giving you background to construct the kinds of questions that you want to ask. So think, for example, in Jen Lockman's videos, when you look at video three, think about how that video compares to what we already know about mandates, what we know about understanding the environment, and she has a really interesting take on SWAT or SWAT exercises, and what we know about understanding your stakeholders. And then think about how Jen Lockman's discussion in video four compares with your other experiences you've had with using what are called SMART goals. And I think um, someone mentioned SMART goals in one of the discussions, and Jen Lockman has some things to say about SMART goals as well. And then you want to think about your term project organization and um, where it is at. So, um, first of all, let's talk about conducting an interview. First, um, what you gather from your interview is data. A lot of people, when they hear the word data, they think about numbers. They think about, you know, somebody gave them an Excel spreadsheet that says, hey, here's all the grades for everyone in PA 4530 in the fall semester 2015. In fact, that is data, and I do have a spreadsheet that has that data, and I use that data to assign grades. And so when people hear the word data, they think it's just numbers, but it's not just numbers. Um, an interview is data. You are getting information about a subject that you are going to use to construct a project. And so keep that in mind. You're not just going and chit-chatting with someone. You're, you're garnering useful data. And you're going to analyze that data when you're done. You're not going to just regurgitate everything that the person says in your interview. That's not a quality paper. Um, that data is going to tell you things that you can analyze because you're going to be looking for things like trends, patterns. You're going to be looking for cause and effect. So an interview is data. Second, there are some really, really important things to remember when you're interviewing someone. And again, I'm referring you to the Purdue OWL presentation and also to these um, YouTube videos I gave you. One is be prepared. You do not want to waste your, your time or your respondent's time. Do not show up for an interview um, and try to do it off the cuff. It simply, it's simply, it's actually borderline disrespectful and isn't going to get you the information that you need. Um, second, you're going to have your questions written in advance. And that's actually uh, a reason for this week's discussion board exercise. And it's the reason why I assign uh, the paper of you providing me the interview questions, because you want them written in advance. Third, any interview you should plan for around 30 minutes. And most people, you know, if they agree to be interviewed, they, they're going to afford to give you that kind of time out of their day. Um, you know, don't, don't plan on interviewing a person for an hour and a half. Now, it may be that the person that you're interviewing, your respondent, is 
becomes very expansive and wants to talk, and that's great. Um, but you should structure your interview so it takes around 30 minutes. Uh, next, you're going to set an appointment and keep an appointment. Um, and, you know, if you say, I'd like you to interview you at 930, please don't show up at 935. Um, <laughs> you're better off showing up at 920 or 925 at the latest. Um, again, this is a classroom project. You're taking up someone's time and um, they're gracious in allowing you this interview. So please keep the appointment. Um, then make sure you have a notebook and writing instruments. Make sure you have something to write with. Um, and that leads to the next point, which is you can record an interview, um, but you have to ask permission. Um, it is illegal to record someone clandestinely. Um, so just if you say, hey, do you mind if I record this interview? Most people are going to say, no problem. Some people do have a problem with it, though, and that's why, that's why you ask them. And the last thing is... You know, when you get done with your interview, please send a thank you note to them. Um, and that that helps you. It's a professional thing to do. And it actually helps us at UNO. Um, it, it actually makes us come across in a better light. So that's uh, conducting an interview. So the discussion board this week. Here's what we're doing. First of all, use all the resources we've used to date. Um, I asked you to look at primarily Jen Lockman's videos three and four. They really don't talk about doing an interview, but they get you in the mindset of thinking about strategic planning and, and comparing it to all the readings from the text we've had so far and the exercises we've had so far. Uh, do look at that Purdue OWL PowerPoint. It's attached on the assignment tab. And do look at the two YouTube videos I gave you. The So what you're going to do is you're going to just develop a set of five interview questions and on the discussion board you're going to provide us with the following about your organization so the name of your organization the role of the person that you're interviewing the project option that you're using from your proposal and the five interview questions so again remember each question is giving you data it's giving you information you need to know to be able to construct your term project. And so then the next thing we're going to do is I want each person when you comment back to two classmates um, I'd like you to offer suggestions and criticisms of their questions. I don't mean criticisms like you're stupid. I mean constructive criticisms of their questions. And then I want you to think about um, ways that they could improve their questions and and that hopefully will help you think about ways you can improve your questions and all this leads up to the assignment that's due on October 10th and so my purpose in all this again to reiterate this week is to help you construct some some very useful questions that you're going to be able to use um, for this assignment and for your interview so I hope that's clear um, Let's have fun this week looking at each other's organizations and interview questions. And just to reiterate, this is helping you. Um, and this, so take this one seriously and take each other's questions seriously. And I think we'll, we'll uh, come out good. Thanks.